What is up guys, it's Ryan, and welcome to my Zamorak God Wars guide for 2020. In this guide, we're going to be covering the range strategies, which involve kiting the boss, and also the melee setups and tanking. And we're going to go over all the requirements you need, the drops you can acquire here, useful items, and just generalized tips and tricks. So I hope you guys enjoy. Alright, so these are, you know, the juicy loots you can get going to Samurai God Wars and about the drop rates you can expect. This is all from the wiki. So, you guys can check that out real quick. Alright, so here are the level requirements that I would recommend for trying Samurai God Wars based on which combat style you're using. The only hard requirement for doing Samurai God Wars is 70 hit points. Other than that, it's just, you know, the more you got, the better you're going to do, the more kills you're going to get. And you also need either 60 agility or 60 strength to enter God Wars, period. Alright, so let's talk about some useful items here. The Arc Light, which can be acquired by using three shards in the Korend Slayer Dungeon on the little uh, totem thing in the middle and use that with a dark light and you can get your arc light which does 70% increased damage and accuracy to demons which this is the best melee weapon you can get following that is the serpentine helmet which gives you an immunity to poison and has great melee stats uh, Zamrock does poison you, so this is extremely useful, especially if you're tanking. And then after that is a Slayer Helmet. If you're fortunate enough to be on a Greater Demon Slayer task, you can get some very nice damage and accuracy boost with using a Slayer Helmet. Alright, so let's go ahead and talk about some of the different melee setups. I have a low level setup here and a high level setup here. The low level setup is less than 5 mil to get started at this boss, so it's pretty easy to get into this boss. And the high level setup, just upgrade according, accordingly once you have the extra money to do so. If you're tanking, uh, just bring a shield switch. If you have an LA, bring that. If not, a spectral is pretty good here for the magic defense. And then if you don't have that, just bring a DFS or like a blessed spirit shield or something. Uh, you can bring Guthans to heal on the minions. Or you could also bring Blood Barrage if you want to. It's a little bit more expensive though. Uh, useful spec items would be your Dragon Warhammer, your BGS. Claws hit very good on this boss, and a Halberd is also pretty good. Uh, if you are bringing the low level setup, you will need anti poisons, as the high level setup has a Serpentine helmet, which keeps you immune from poison. Alright, so here is the range setup. If you have a Twisted Bow, bring that because it is so strong with this boss, it's insane. Uh, if not, just bring a crossbow. You'll still do perfectly fine. Just bring diamond and ruby bolts so you can do the 50 HP or like the half HP uh, switch. And then a blowpipe uh, to kill the minions and you can use a spec on the minions to heal up in between kills. And also you could bring blood barrage to heal up on the minions. So my cheaper setup over there is less than 6 mil to get started. And then the, kind of like the maxed out setup is 160 mil. Plus if you can bring a twisted bow. And with the range setups, you're going to be kiting the boss around the room. So you might want to grab a couple of stamina potions. So here's a map with how to get to God Wars Dungeon. The red path, you got to do Troll Stronghold as a requirement. You just have to complete the quest up until you kill Dad, and you also need climbing boots every time you take this path. But I would highly recommend just doing Edgar's Ruse quest, that way you get the Trollheim teleport. And you can just teleport straight up there, run down the mountain, and boom, you're already there. Uh, your first time going to God Wars, you must bring a rope. After that, you don't need to anymore. Alright guys, so once you've made it to the Zamorak encampment, once you climb down in God Wars, you're going to want to run north from where you climb down, and there will be like a half ice bridge. And you'll go ahead and jump in this water, and you'll swim across, pop up over here, and it is worth noting that that will drain your prayer down to zero. So maybe bring an extra prayer potion than what you're expecting to use, 
and then once you're over in the Zamorak encampment there's two imps that spawn here and two imps that spawn here and you're just gonna kill those for kill count it's the fastest way if you guys want to conserve your arc light charges you guys can just drop a piece of food grab your spec weapon or if you're using a dragon warhammer you can just equip that and kill the imps with that and then just remember to come back and pick up your food before it disappears alright guys so once you guys are done getting a kill count go ahead and pot up so I drink a brew super restore super combat potion and then we get our quick prayer set with piety and protect from melee if you're ranging, you're just going to do rigor and protect from melee on your entrance, and then once you start kiting, you'll switch over to range. But you guys will see that once we get to that part of the video. Just go ahead and enter. And Krill is a lot like Bandos in a sense of you just run under him to uh, reset the ticks. That way you can get extra hits in. get your BGS specs off and then when you're tanking Krill you want to try to keep your HP pretty high because he does do that smash that goes straight through your prayer points so I would probably recommend trying to keep your uh, hit points above 60 at the minimum so after each kill just put your Guthans on and try to get some heals and I wouldn't recommend drinking a bunch of super restores to get your prayer back up after you jump through the pool. Because after your first kill, you can just go over and use the altar. Rune Light has a timer for when the boss respawns. And also a timer for the altar to tell you when you guys can use it again. So it's a very helpful thing to have. Alright guys, so that's going to do it for my Zamorak God Wars guide for 2020, which sounds so weird to say that, but uh, 
I hope this video helped. If it did, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe for future videos, and have a good day.